<laughs> Up in the Guatemalan highlands, these women are using a new weapon to combat poverty. Inside this box, one of nature's most important engineers, the earthworm. For 29-year-old Maria Rodriguez, worms could hold the key to women's empowerment in some of Guatemala's poorest areas. Worms could make a difference in Guatemala and in different parts of the world because they have the power to transform waste into wealth. Uh, the organic fertilizer uh, improves the quality of soil for farmers. In reality, they are very positive and they have a lot of faith in worms. In a process known as vermicomposting, women first lay out the bedding for the worms, then they add old vegetables and fruit. In around three to six months' time, the worms convert the garbage into valuable compost. It's a technology that women in this farming community are embracing. It's natural. It's organic. It doesn't have any chemicals. Since the project started, I wanted to learn the process of using worms to create fertilizer. And while the project has been slow to start, there are high hopes. Six months from now, the group hopes that all of these troughs around me will be filled with organic waste and worms. The women hope to be producing around 150 tons of organic fertilizer per month, bringing in around $2,400. Patrona and the other women also use the fertilizer to grow herbs and medicinal plants. Maria's company, BioEarth, then sells the plants to organizations looking to grow community gardens. Making even a few dollars a week is empowering. Sometimes women are told to stay in the house. But no, women have the right to work and earn outside our homes because we're just as valuable as men. This group has helped me to realize this and to get ahead. A project that's good for the environment while transforming the lives of Guatemalan women. All thanks to these little creatures and a lot of patience and determination. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, Sumpango, Guatemala.